Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody is having a great day. Well, today is going to be in two sections, but it's all going to be one video. This is, as you can see, the first box that I got from um, 123 Stitch. Sorry, I keep hitting the so we can see what is going on. Terrible lighting today. But I got the first one, and the second one is coming later today. And today is Tuesday, so we'll just have to wait until tomorrow. So, I already opened the end, but haven't pulled anything out yet. So, as you can see, I got some stuff. And an invoice. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Stuff, stuff, and more stuff. So let's see what's in this bag. Shall we? Let me see if I can bring you down just a little bit closer. Whoop. Back up. All right. It's not what you call bright. There we go. So they always package everything so nice. So we got a little thread. And, of course, I got some needles. I got... Ooh, come back there, little Sheba. Where did it go? Well, how far can it go? Hang on, guys. I don't know where it went, so we'll have to find it later. But it was a package of bone, 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 B O H N needles. But I got 24 and 26 size tapestry needles from um, Peacemakers. And I'm going to try those on the um, even weave. And let's see. And we got a few colors. And let's see, I can almost sort them out, but not much. I got some extra 310s, and I got extra 221s for, there's two projects. I'm going to put them needles up over here. Because I needed it for, I think I've got two or three going that are using 221, and I don't want to run out. So I just got some extra. What is that? Oh, that's B252. Then I got one, two, three pieces. Now this is um, Country French Golden Needle. I got one piece of it, and you'll see what it's going to be for. It's a nice small piece. Got the smallest I could get. 9 by 13. It seems like I didn't get any at all. Good gravy. We are just having a day today. I got the light on. It's not helping. So, yeah. that I love that color. This is the color that I'm using for Linen and Threads uh, Mystery Style 2020. And I want it for a project. Then I got some Country French Latte, which is the lighter one. These are all by Winchlet. And it goes kind of like this, if you can see that. This is the darkest, then the lightest, and then the medium. Well, I didn't really put those, you know, where they were supposed to go. Hush, Molly, please. Get down. Now she found out she can get on top of the couch. Oh, yeah, it's been a special day. And they're all 16 count. And we're going to use them for the projects that I got in this bag. So we'll set that aside for right now. So I got a couple patterns. And... The first one that I got is Quaker Christmas 2 by Bygone Stitches. 
I just love this. I saw this on stitching. Oh, I'll, I'll write it in the description. But she was doing this. She's right in here somewhere. Uh, oh, no, she's down here on the Christmas tree. She's almost done with this thing. But it is absolutely gorgeous. And um, I haven't picked colors for it. As you can see, it calls for Gentle Arts uh, sampler threads. And I'm just going to pick a, a green and a red. So I may go $4.98. And I'm going to do it on probably... The, I, this might not be the specific piece, but on this one. Dark. And then I got... Old Crow, Ye Old Crow by Heart and Hand. And that is what I'm going to do this on. I just love this pattern. It is so cool. Now, when I do this, I may do all of the lettering. I'll show you where. I picked out this color from DMC, and it's 111. It's a variegated. I'm going to do all of it in this color except for the crow and I'm going to make him in DMC uh, 310 so I, w I think I've got some green I may have some green um, or brown darker brown I may do just do it all like I just said but that's the plan so that is what I'm going to use on that for that one and then I got the one I wanted. Yay! Silver Creek Samplers. I have been looking at this and looking at it. It's been in and out of my, my cart for months. And then I would lose track of... Sorry, I had to have a drink. <coughs> I'd have to have a, a thing. Then I'd, I'd lose where... And, where it came from and I'd have to find it again but I finally got it I bought it and I believe it's going on I'd have to check all these but and I'll tell you you know as I do them I think it's going to go on this which is the country French latte I Ada I Ada I'm telling you I don't know what that oh I know what this uh, the extra piece of this is what I'm going to start the new normal on and I hope I got them all. Let's see. These are 828s. And I'm going to need more. But, yeah, this is what I'm going to do for new normal. I was like, why do I have an extra piece? I know I worked that out because I went through it about 100 times. What I was going to show you is um, I got all the rest of them. Hopefully, that's the way that all turns out. These are the colors that I got for Silver Creek samplers. I got all the called for DMC. Now there might be a, a different one in there that shouldn't be in there, but pretty much that's that's the colors that I'm going to be using on this. I just love this. I you know it's going to take me forever, but I think it's so cool, and I don't even think I'm might change the car out I don't know everybody else has changed the car out to color my car is like a a gray I don't know what how to call it gray gray gold ish you know you can't it's weird so yeah so that is everything that I got in that but I'm happy to have some more three tens because before I couldn't get any and 221 was out so I don't know that I'll use that 221 for that Christmas one let me move everything over it might be okay and then I'll have to get like a, a green you know I, I can certainly look it up to see which color is recommended for DMC I just don't want it to be too bright but I do like this this 221 so, I know, stuff to do. This is huge. This looks huge. It is 240 by 
350. Yeah, it's a piece. And it says 15 by 21 is the finished on 16 count. So, we'll see. It did call for light exemplar. But, you know, I like my Cafe Mocha. It's just, it's my go-to. I, I just like the way it makes everything look old and antique -y and I, I'm not a modern girl at all. So that is all the fun stuff we got to work on. Just, yeah, and as if that wasn't bad enough, yeah, I had to make another order. Yeah, because I saw two little things, and they will be, um, what do you call it? Summary? Like... So, we will see. We will see, we'll see, we'll see. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this here and leave this just like this. And um, when I get the other box, I will do um, another opening and then we'll do the stitch along. I will decide which one I'm going to stitch along with. So, that might not even happen until Thursday. I don't know. But we'll see how it goes. All right. All right. We'll see you in a few. Hello. I'm back again. And I have part two. So I went to go pick up the other package. And there was another package. I got stitchy kindness again. I am so spoiled. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, we're going to open up the Stitchy Kindness first before I open up part two of my other part. Let's see if I can get it a little bit brighter. I got the light shining right on it. All right. Let's see if I can get this without ruining anything. Just got to cut a little bit. Oops. Just a tad, trying to get the, the edge, and not what is actually in there. I'm excited. I have no idea what this is. None. Donata. Surprise, surprise, surprise. I love surprises, but yeah, when it works out. But some surprises just don't, they scare me more than anything. Oh my goodness. That is on there tight. Okay, now let's see if I can pull it out. Oh, goodness. And this is from my friend Rebecca. And it's a beautiful card. She has such pretty cards. Just love the envelopes, they're gorgeous. Look like she handmade them. I want to see if I can just... That way I won't ruin that part. Because I could use it for something. Maybe if I could just... Man, if I just had a pair of sharp scissors, I'm telling you. I'm going to have to invest in a pair of scissors somewhere. Let me get that open. Oh my goodness! It is late, but it was. I was waiting on one, two, three. Two, uh, nice. It's one of those snagged that re I need that for like some of my real sweaters, not just my stitching stuff. Never used one of those, so we will have to see how that works. Thank you, thank you. I've never used one of these. I've, I've seen, you know, other people saying that they um, had used them or whatever. I'll have to go back and see if I can find a tutorial on how to use it. Huh. I like it'll get all tangled up in the material, but we'll see. It might surprise me. It's, I'm not going to take it out of there because heaven knows I will lose it right off the bat. 
thank you so much. Look at that beautiful card. Isn't that just gorgeous? Oh, it's awesome. Brother Sister Design Studio. Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. That's beautiful. I'm going to put that right back in there so I don't lose it. Let's see what is in the package. I love tissue paper. It always means that something special is coming. Because it's fragile and precious. <laughs> oh, how nice. Nice. I got the Christmas ornament issue of Just Cross Stitch. And a summer, looks like a summer issue of Just Cross Stitch. Look at all them kites. <gasps> that man oh man oh man the things I'm going to have to do oh dear no no oh look at look at it looks like a piece of candy Chris Chris minty how oh, funny but that looks so cool I could make like a hundred of those uh, not <laughs> but no I could make one it looks so cool for Christmas or and this oh my god I have been drooling over this every time somebody shows us and get this out of the way just beautiful look at the little camper oh my gosh that would be so cute to add to um what is that oh and I don't know again I don't know who is it that um you know, it's like hometown something or snow village or Christmas village. It's just so cool. But you could add that to it because it just kind of goes with that that whole bunch. You could make it just a little bit bigger so that it would fit with that. I'm going to sooner or later start collecting those. I think it's the snow village, you know, where it had... The little cocoa stand and all that. I wanted to do it in the long one. But recently, I saw somebody that had done that. And that thing was probably four feet long. Yeah. No, that won't be happening. But I'd like to make it maybe the way that it's supposed to be. You know, where there's something in the middle and then you put all the rest of them around it. But I'd have to check that out again. But... I don't know how that all comes together, but oh God, yes, I've been drooling over this, and there was one in here that I just, hang on, let me see if I can find it, that somebody showed, and it was so precious, they're all precious, here he is, look at the Santa, look at that Santa, oh my goodness, he's so cute, and he is from Autumn Lane Stitchery, and this, they're you know, I could just, I could just stitch all next year, nothing but Christmas. But that wouldn't work for me because, yeah. But I, they're small. And I could, yeah. Mm, uh, yeah. I see Christmas, and look at the gingerbread man with those little hula skirt on. Oh, there's too much in here. And look at, there's a great big one. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much, Miss Rebecca. I owe you, lady. I owe you. Oh, my goodness. And this, with all the summer stuff in it. Oh, oh, look at that. <gasps> I love sunflowers. I just love sunflowers. We had sunflowers all the time in Kansas. And this with the kites. That, oops, sorry. Pattern, pattern. Oops, sorry. I'm trying. But that one with the kites. That is just too cool. Look at all those bright colors. I don't care if it's summer. I don't care. I just do it. Oh, look at this bag, ladies. <sighs> no, just keep moving more. Just you, You've got too many projects. Sewing projects like that are not in my repertoire. But this, I, it's just so sorry. So cool. So cool. I will have to look through this, and maybe we'll have a flip through on it. Who knows? It can happen. All right, guys. Thank you, Miss Rebecca. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. <sighs> Dreams and wishes are all coming true. All right. Are we ready? One, two, three, stitch. 
it's kind of a letdown after all that other stuff that I got all at one time. But, hey. And now I have to try to get another bag undone here. Oh my goodness. Come on. Please, play fair. I can't. Screw it. We're just going to cut a corner. What's the worst that can happen? I feel the bulk of it in the bottom. Let's not say what the worst can happen, because I don't want to go through any material. That would just break my heart. Absolutely. All right. So, I made the big order. And then I went back like a day or two later. And I got to looking at stuff. Everything and all and stuff. Got to get rid of this bag, too. Whoops. Just set that there. So, what I got was two more patterns. And another piece of material. And the first one is from Waxing Moon Design. I just absolutely love this. It's called Bittersweet Trio. And I don't know how big they are going to be. It does have the DMC alternatives over here. And let's see. It called for brown linen. That wasn't happening. Not not about this month. Um, design, it says 14 count, which is 28 over 2. And they are supposed to be, it says 4 and a quarter by 5 and a quarter. But I just thought they would make a nice little grouping. I just loved them. And they look, you know, fairly simple. I don't see too much. I see some, it looks like, hang on. It looks like, um, oh goodness gracious, I can't even think. Yeah. After I went and picked this up, there's no way I'm going to sleep until I do this part of this video. So, let me see. Does it say? Hmm. Oh, they have a Halloween house trio, Christmas house trio, autumn house trio, turkey trio, Christmas tree trio, boy, they say that three times, and a snowman trio. I never really looked at it, but I just saw these, and I thought they were so cute, and they'd be nice and small, and, you know, you know, we could do this. We could do this. Oh, I was, sorry, I got sidetracked. Sparkly squirrel. Um... I don't think. I guess those are just stitches. They, I thought they looked like little French knots. And I guess if you had a small enough fabric, you could do it in a French knot. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to doing that. We're going to put that puppy right back in here. And, as you can see, I got another blackbird. <sighs> yeah, I, I thought I better get that because, yeah, it is what it is. And it'll be gone. So I got, hopefully, this is that same, and it's stiff, but this is that same material that um, I, I'm using on uh, Anna Omen, 1873, I think. And the picture didn't look anything like this, but that's what it said. That was the number that it went to. But I just love this. So I'm going to try to do these three on this. And this one. Isn't this beautiful? I'm not going to. You know, the pattern's right inside. Here, I'll show you this side. Isn't that just fabulous? Just fabulous. Yes, it would be fabulous. More fabulous on like linen or whatever it is I use. I'm just not there yet, guys. I just cannot handle it. I'm just going to have to keep practicing and practicing. Especially going down. Down is not good. The days are becoming shorter and cooler. It won't be long before the leaves begin to fall and will shiver in the early morning hours. Pantry shelves are lined with jars of street Sweet strawberry jam and baggies 
of blackberries are nestled in the freezer. Even before we open the first jar of jam, we are missing those long summer days spent in our gardens. Capture the taste of summer as you stitch our drum and pin cushion. Isn't that cool? Pin cushion and matching needle roll. Each project is decked out with the first berries of the season. On the needle roll, you'll notice our sassy little strawberry thief looking over his shoulder as he prepares to steal the first ripe berry. He's a smile just waiting to happen. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at those antique buttons. Oh my goodness. Maybe they're not antique, but they look beautiful. They just look gorgeous. And this, I had to have this. This is, i got to move it because the pattern's right here. Um, it call, gives you the DMCs right here. And it's using Weak Dye Works uh, colors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there are nine colors in this. And I can't remember what I got. How's that? <laughs> yeah, I'm so special. I think... I didn't look to see how many colors are on the other. I don't know. I just ordered this so fast that these are colors. So they're, I think they're for this. All the bright oranges and, but I think they're going to look fabulous on that. Let me straighten them out just a bit. They're just all discobuberated again. Look at those oranges and browns. It just screams autumn, and this is what I wanted. Something that screamed autumn and wasn't too hokey. Is that, is that the word? But see, I've been doing this kind of stuff. I don't know. Is this primitive? I, see, I don't even know. I'm so new to that, that word and what that actually means. Yeah, but yeah. And I'll just go get the, the colors for that if I don't have them. I don't know what I bought, but I believe, because there's an, a crew. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that these colors are these. And it calls for weak dye works as well, but it has the equivalent over here. So, yeah, and I think there was like one or two missing. I'll have to look at my list over there. So, yeah, what what am I going to start first? It's like, oh my goodness. This, I said, was four and a quarter by five and a quarter. And this, hang on, I got to get there. Um, design size, not very big. The, the berry basket is three and a quarter inches. Of course, that's done on 36 count, so 18 count. So it'll be about four inches, this little thing. And I may be able to... Uh, find it this looks like oh man when I quilted there was I thought it was R and R but I've been hearing that too much I don't think that's exactly what it was called but they had reproduction fabric that I used to do my quilts in by heaven knows I can't even remember that far back but yeah yeah and that little stitch, mm, not real sure about that, but that doesn't look too difficult. I might be able to handle that. Or it might get just my basic blanket stitch, but that looks nice and delicate. But that is just gorgeous. Just absolutely gorgeous. And I think it'll look good on this material as well. I may actually have some of those colors. Um, as some of them, but it's not a big deal. I can go buy some. Because there's only eight or nine. So, yeah. I am so excited. So excited. I've got weight. It's, I'm on overload now, guys. What the, What do I start first? Maybe I should just, like, publish this, this one and then have y'all decide what I should start first. But, you know, within two weeks, I'll have every one of these projects started. So, yeah. I, I just... I love this. Just loved it. But I didn't like it on the gray. I just thought it didn't say autumn 
like this. And I think these colors are going to be great on this. It'll be more autumn-y type. This gray I would use more for winter-ish. But, you know, they it, it it's great. It's great. And I've never done a waxing moon. So that, and the one from waxing moon, I think it's waxing moon. Don't quote me. It's about the moon and that lady walking. Something about the moon and the walking. And there's a lady and a moon and she's walking. And yeah, that's all I can tell you. It was a big deal like three or four months ago. And every time, it seemed like, when I went to go look for it, the pattern was gone, or you know, like out of stock. And then, then the big, you know, the big hoopty happened, and holy cow, yeah. So I never got back to it, but it's on my wish list. But I've never done anything by them, and I thought this would be perfect. It's nice and it's small, and of course there's there's this. This just, this just. There's something about Blackbird design that just warms my heart and my soul. I just, I look at them. I can just look at them. I don't have to stitch them. I just, I like them. Yeah. They do such a fabulous job of making them look old and antique. I love antiques. Antique, pretty much anything. Yeah. So, and especially the linens. And the way things that were done in the the 1900s, you know, like 1900 to 1940s, I love that. And then back, you know, all the samplers that were done in the 1800s, it just... And it, you just sit there, and you... Not these, per se, but on the samplers, I just look back and think, you know, that somebody... The six-year-old, or 11, or 14, or however they old they were, at one point in their lives, they stitched that, and that was their world. And now, to have it in our world, and our time, I mean, you know, it's just, it, it just blows me away. It just, the, the leaps and bounds that embroidery and cross stitch and everything has come to it's kind of like we're going back to the root of when they were doing all this and what they did I don't know it, it would be very hard as a designer to come up with stuff that people are going to look at a hundred years from now and say wow that's what they did you know and say that same thing I just said it, it just it blows me away it just it yeah. And I realize they're just crosses and you just grit it, but it's like magic and it's a miracle. It really is that they actually survived. I mean, think about that and everything that happened from that point in time and how they survived this long. You know, it just, I don't know. We should only hope that things will last that long, you know, in our time. Alright guys, um, I think, um, I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, you'll either see this published and I'll be asking for your opinion as to what to start first or I will make that decision. But I'm going to do it tomorrow because, yeah, tomorrow will be Wednesday and I, I it's midnight. I, I have to go to sleep. I can't start and do that part of this video. So... We'll see. We'll see. I'll think on it. How's that? I'll think on it tonight, and then I'll put it part on that, and y'all can tell me what you want me to start first. How's that? How's that? We'll just leave it at that. I'm just going to publish this this way, and y'all tell me which pattern you want me to start. Waxing Moon. This one. Hang on. Just got to get these out of the way so they don't fall. Then we have, this is the mix. New Normal.
Where did it go? Whoops. Crap. Christmas sampler. I mean, Christmas list. Which one's this? And Quaker Christmas 2. Or, last but not least, Yield Crow. So, Yield Crow, Quaker Christmas, Silver Creek Samplers, New Normal, Sweet Summer Come Again, Blackbird, or Waxing Moon's Bittersweet Trio. Put it in the list and whatever gets... I'll put that, and you put it in the comments, which one you want me to start first, and I will start it, and whichever one gets the most votes, we're going with. How's that? Alright guys, we will see you again probably tomorrow, maybe, maybe not until Thursday, because I will publish this whole group of videos and wait for your vote. All right, we'll see you then. Bye-bye. Stay safe. God bless.